Hi there, this is Tabby, aka Espions196, and I'm here with Diamond Flare, aka Flare So Too. Hi! And today we're on Doodle World, where the printing update we've been looking forward to has just <gasps> dropped. Follow me, Tabby. Okay, so you, to get to the new route, you go to Lakewood Tunnel, which this is where one. the sewers are. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm following Flare. So you go in here. We won't show all of the cutscenes or the new area because I don't want to spoil it all. But just briefly to let you know, you talk to this person and a new part of the story will now launch. Ooh. And just a little slight spoiler. When you have a choice to fight either Rufus or Inari, if you choose Rufus, his doodles are around about level 55 plus. If you choose Inari, they're kind of level 40-ish. But by choosing Rufus, you do get an 800 gem reward. That's the extra reward you get. So it's your choice. So yeah, you have to go through the new route until you get to this building. And this is where printing is. I've deposited my tablet. You, you deposited tablet, didn't you? And I'm depositing hat tricks because I'd like to print them. So when you've got some tickets, you go to the back of the building to print the doodle. It gives you eight tickets of whatever your starter is yeah. anyway. So I'm going to have a look at the options I'd have if I was going to print a tablet. So you can leave it as random. You could leave it all as random and print one for five. I don't know why you'd do that. Mm, I'd true. probably prefer to print some more tickets and save it up. And you can choose the stars, which is really cool. Obviously, I've completed the mastery for Tabolt, so I've got six stars. But if you haven't done the tasks, you could only print up to five stars. So if you're going to print one for being competitive, it's probably worth making the effort. And it's so cool you can print Tiny or Big now. <gasps> I know a big costs more, cool. but... Sad. I know, but that's so cool. Although I guess it's going to devalue the ones that we've got because oh, yeah. they'll be much more common. And also I noticed that in our key items, we've now got a ticket case and a tint palette. So in the future, you'll be able to scrape the tint from doodles. And I believe you have to scrape a few of one colour tint and then you can apply it to one you're printing. Mm. So that is so exciting. That's going to make tint doodles more valuable oh. too. And with the printing update, there are now some new game passes. You can pay 800 Robux for a second copier. Mm. So you could, or it looks like you can have up to three. So you could have more than one copier going at the same time. I guess you could put three of the same doodle in to get them three times as quick. Or you could put different doodles. But I think the best game pass is the offline ticket generation so I'm going to buy this one now. Basically, it means even if you're not playing Doodle World, your machines will still be oh, right. That's good. generating tickets. Do you want that one too? Yep. Yeah, we'll both have that one, I think. It's definitely worth it. And then we'll decide about the other one. But yeah, basically now, even if we're playing a different game, we can still be generating tickets. The thing you have to remember is it'll only hold up to 20. So you have to keep coming and collecting the tickets or you just won't generate any more. But it's a really good game pass. So, yeah, the other thing is this lady at the back, June, you can choose one of your doodles and you can give it print moves. Oh. So for the eight tickets you get for free when you join, you can give hit your starter run. a new move. Yeah, hit and run on Tabolt. Oh. So, or Zap Pereira. So I'm going to give my Zap Pereira hit and run for now just to show you how it works. But basically it costs eight tickets, which would take you 16 minutes to print out. Yeah. Is that right? about two minutes for one ticket for tablet so you can get a print move every 16 minutes of playing or offline if you bought the game bars so the other thing about this update it's not all about printing the other thing is there is now a really really cool new capsule called the chain capsule you can buy it with gems in any doodle depot or i believe you said you found a chest didn't you with three yeah. of them yeah so in the new area there's definitely at least one chest that gives you three of these new capsules and if you use it while you're chaining and a different doodle than the one you're chaining comes up and you want to catch it, you won't break your chain. So you could be chaining like me, chaining Wiglets and find a tint male Azuri. I could still catch it and not lose my chain. That's good. It's good. So anyway, we will see you on our next video.